What's up, guys? My boss, and as you guys see, holy content. We got ourselves a ton of content that came out there recently. We got ourselves Grin Iron 2s, NFL Honors, 99 Cam Chancellor. We got ourselves the new Mutt Level Night Season 3. And also, we got Ultimate Legends coming out tomorrow. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys are joining and are ready for gameplay later on today with, as you see on the browse store, 97, really, 99, Joe Namath, and maybe the next gameplay we'll have Dion too, depending on how they play. Let me know. Drop a like. Hit the sub. Let's hop right into it. First thing I want to say, though, before we talk about the grid iron and stuff, thank you guys for the, for the support on the last two videos. I really do appreciate it. And it all goes out to you guys, bro, because you guys are what makes me want to keep this, this thing going. But now enough about that. You see right here how you get yourself a 94 end cap uh, Mutt Hero card. Very simple. All you got to do is complete these challenges. You see right here, though, the grid iron two challenges. All you got to do is get 90 stars. To get yourself a 94 fantasy pack and get yourself an A7 plus pack for getting all 135. So that's good. That's good for y'all if you want to use that. Um, let's see, what else? What else? What else? We got the objectives as well, looks like right there. So I gotta hop right back into that. Because I'll be honest, before I start recording this video, I didn't even go look through the objectives. So we got ourselves more free stuff. Let's go take a look if it, this game will let me. There we go. Here we go, right here. Gridiron objectives. Get yourself some XP and coins, which is pretty cool, especially because now when you get to level 50, to get yourself a 98 or 99 overall player. So that's going to help out a lot. But as you see right here, they get all these XPs. And it says right here, complete all of them to get 35,000 XP, 30,000 coins, and get yourself a 94 overall Gridiron Guardian 2 card of your choice. So, hey, that's auctionable. That's nice right there. Unfortunately, with the end cat, though, those I don't think you can put into sets, which kind of sucks, but what do you got to do? But here is another thing. We're going to head down a little more to the ultimate season, as you see. Season 3 has been live since yesterday, so I'm pretty sure some of y'all are high levels already. If you are, let me know what level you are in the comments. Right here, you can get yourself either the tight end, I believe it's a rookie tight end from the Steelers, or Marcus Davenport at a 99 overall by the time you get to level 50. Now, how do you do that? You get yourself the pack right here, though. When you reach level 5, you can choose one of them. Go through it basically, no problem. You see, you get yourself some power passes, you get yourself some packs, some store exclusives though they can get, new strategy cards. Go all the way through. 96 overall, you saw at level 30 is a Dalvin Cook and Cat, and the highest pass you can get is a 96. Right here is where you can get the 98 overall and Cat though. Um, and you can power up the Marcus Davenport or the tight end to 99. Now then the other 99 that came out. Mutt Master Cam Chancellor, his objectives finally came out today. It took a little bit longer than it was supposed to, but if you completed all these, you're good. If not, yeah, you need to do some work. But right here, to even get these these done already, you got to get them to at least a 92 overall. And let's see, what else? Yeah, that was win 250 games with a 92 overall team. One or the other. Is it that? Let's see. With an overall... Either under 90 or over 90. I think it's under a 92, actually. Wow. All right. That should be very simple, though. But you see right here, complete these challenges, and you will get yourself the collectibles necessary to get your can chancellor to a 99 overall. Now then, let's head over to over here. You see right here, we got those new honors cards. We got Joe Burrow, Jonathan Taylor, and TJ Watt. We're going to look at the store quickly because there's obviously going to be some store offers here, which with the bundles... I ain't touching bundles today because I'm waiting for tomorrow for the Ultimate Legends. That's going to be a lot of fun to pull for. But you see right here, you can get some an 87 plus gridiron player for 9,500. Or you can get yourself the guarantee 94 plus with 24,000 train. So that's going to be a little bit more. But if you can pull 97s out of there, you're golden. Now, let's go over to the gridiron, gu gridiron Guardians. Let's head over now to the sets for the Grid Iron Guardians 2. Now let's go check them out. Go right here to the heroes. See, I can complete these. 94 overall, Micah Hyde, Ryan Jensen, Daniel Jones, Michael Brockers with Preston Smith, Brian Burns, DJ Moore, and Dante Johnson. So let's head over to Daniel Jones for the example. All you need is three 91 overall Grid Iron Guardian 2 players to be able to do that. 
the next one will be the champions because what you do with the 94 is you put them right here. We got ourselves Roquan Smith, Joe Navitt, Max Crosby, and Derrick Henry. And you take two of these 97s to put in here for the 98 overall, Deion Sanders. Now, here's the thing to keep an eye on with these cards. For example, use Joe Namath, right? You see right here, you put the four 94s in, no problem. Exchange four 94 overall ground on two players to get the 97 overall champion and his power up with the super suit strategy. Each card of these cards get a different strategy card, so that can help out. But the thing, though, is that this set will update on the 4th of March, no longer giving you the super suit strategy. So the only time you can get those cards is between today, Friday, February 18th, 2022, all the way to March 4th, 2022. Because here's the reason why I need to keep an eye on that. Dion, right? You see right here, you exchange 297 overalls. And you know what? Instead of saying it, how about I show you it? Because you see the coins are a little high. Yes, I saw Micah Parsons, which you can sit there and say, why would you do that? The cards were 1.4 million, 1.1 million coins at the time recording this video. And yeah, I wanted to do it so this way I can get Dion for you guys. And all I gotta do is wait for the reduxes and we'll be fine. But you guys see right here, we're gonna add these two cards here. Here is the limited overall champion, 98 overall Dion. Now, why would it be limited? You guys see why right now. There's 98 overall Dion Sanders. There's his power up, and it's this card right here. It's a Dion coverage boost. Now, what does that do? I already have him powered up in my lineup as I backed out of the pack, but I'm going to show you why. Now then, the thing though is with these strategy cards that they only go to be on there for a certain amount of time, and it's the same thing with Dion. As you see right there though, we're going to get ourselves a little coin up and a little XP for completing Dion set, which is pretty cool. You guys see on the lineup right here, though, I'm going to get Joe Namath back, though, because I used him earlier. He's not that bad. He's actually a lot of fun to use. We already see Dion's ready to go. You already know. Pastor Tan is gone. And look at this right here already. Hold on. What the heck? Oh, yeah, right, right. I know about the pack. Hello. I didn't take it. <laughs> My bad. That's on me. That's a fail. Because I want to show you guys, though, his stats fully powered up. And I want to show you guys Joe Namath and all of them, the 97 overalls, and the honors cards. So first off, if you want to see Joe Burrow in them first, let me know in the comments if you want to see Joe Burrow or not. I'll see if I can get his card. But well, we already seen this though, cool. So we're gonna take all three of these cards, no problem. Now let me show you what I'm talking about though with the strategy card and especially with Dion on why you would want to complete it. Now the only thing that sucks, you can get the 97s back. That's what sucks, but keep that in mind. The cards were 700,000 coins and you can't get the 97s back. So remember that, that's first. Second, if we head over to the strategy cards right here, you see right here, Super QBs. What this thing does, I'm probably not gonna be able to show you like that, but you see right there though, it says it gives all offensive linemen and QBs and one overall boost. So you see right here, my entire offensive line is a 98 overall now. You already see Makai bets in back there as well, one of the 91s, fully powered up to a 93. But right here though, we're gonna power up Dion to a 99 overall. So let's see what he's looking like here. Cowboy theme team, Niners theme team. But as you see right here though, that's still locked. And that's gonna stay locked. And honestly, let's just put this on first because I just like the way my card art looks. And you see all five chemistry slots are ready to go. But the thing though is that during this program, you need this card because it would unlock a plus one man in zone boost as well. So as you see now right here, 99 speed, 98, uh, 99 agility, 98 speed, 98 excel, 98 kick return, 99 man, 98 zone. This card is really, really good right now. And definitely someone that I want on this team. So right now we head over to this. He should be able to unlock everything. Well, not almost everything. He can't get enforcer, obviously, and all that stuff. But these are all the counters he unlocked on his final um, slot. So if you guys are curious with that, I'm gonna put Acrobat on him. And boom, Dion is done. And just like that. Now the only I'm not sure though, with that boost up, it's only for Dion or for everybody. And I think it is actually for everybody. Hold on, because Marshall Allowance went to a 96. Let me see. Let's see, yep, right here. That's the thing though. You get plus one man and zone for everyone in your second, in your corners. So as you see though, Latimer went up to a 96. I'm surprised Rand's gonna go up to a 99. I need to know how the heck to do that because my God, how are you not a freaking 99? 
that's a shocking to me. But right now, let me make sure everything's all on. And then we're going to go pair Dion, though, to everyone else. So right now, let's look at Dion compared to everyone and why this really helps. And of course, the game crashes. Thanks, EA. Appreciate you. So clearly, though, trying to compare Dion to all of them in the lineup is key making my game crash. So we're just going to go over all the other cards. Here's Joe Namick, 92 speed, 97 throw power, 94 short, 96 medium, 92 deep, 95 under pressure, 91 on the run with 96 play action. He looks really, really good for a field general. He does get Hot Rod Master and Gunslinger. And on a Jets or Ranstein team, though, you already know that throw power is going to 99. I think short and medium goes up to 99. The under pressure will say like 97 or 98. And the play action is definitely going to be uh, 99. Let's go on to the next QB here, and that is Joe Burrow. He's right here. They're going for 500-something thousand coins. He's going to have 87 speed, 96 throw power, 94 short, 96 medium, 95 deep, 93 under pressure, with 94 on the run, and 96 play action. Joe Burrow, the runner-up for the Super Bowl, but got comeback player of the year. My cap is all to him, though. Card looks good for your Bengals team team. Definitely, well, I hope it fills some holes for you Bengals fans. We're going to go over the next guy now. It's Roquan Smith. Now, he's another one that I thought about bringing to my team. I'm not sure, though, yet. 94 speed, 95 excel, 87 strength, 96 tackle, 91 play rec with 94 block shed, 98 hip power with 91 zone. He looks really good and really fast. The only reason why I don't know if I should bring him to my team, very simple. Because middle linebackers don't work, I feel like, in this game. They haven't worked since, like, Madden 17. Unless you put, like, a safety there, like the 10 Hedricks or something. That's the only way I feel like it works. Like, it's certain cards that work. Here is the other NFL Honest card. Jonathan Taylor, 94 speed, 96 XL, 97 agility, 95 carry, 85 catch, 96 chain direction with 94 truck, and 96 spray tackle. He is the ground player of the year with 18 over 1,800 rushing yards and 18 touchdowns. Car's not that bad, though, but he is one of the cheaper NFL honor cards. There's a lot of other running backs you can go get. Like, for example, you can go get, like, Kenyon Drake. You can get uh, Cordell Patterson, maybe. Marcus Allen, even that limit's kind of cheap. Like, there's so many more running backs you can go get. And we have this guy, though, you can use a quarterback. It's a little hard. But here is Derrick Henry, 96 speed, 95 excel, with 90 agility, 95 carry, 68 catch, 93 chain direction, 97 truck, and break tackle. Derrick Henry just looking like a monster. I can't wait to see him play next year because he was on pace to getting 2,000 rushing yards this season. And unfortunately, he got hurt, which really sucks. Like, it really, really sucks. Now, the other 97 that came out, though, I believe is a left end. If not, now I'll go to the right end. Yep, there he is. Max Crosby. He's such an he's an underrated pass rusher, in my opinion, but he's making a name. 94 speed, 97 XL, 87 strength, 92 tackle, 91 play rank, 98 blocks, and 97 finesse move with 91 power move. Rarest team team, I'm going to guess 97, 98 speed, 99 XL, 99 blocks, and 99 finesse move. This card looks really freaking nasty. For a speed rusher, he looks really, really good. I know a lot of you guys are rocking the Raiders theme team, so I know you guys are happy about that. The last card that came out was TJ Watt. 92 speed, 94 XL, 89 strength with 96 tackle, 94 play rack, 96 blocks, and 91 power move with 97 finesse move. You see he's a lot cheaper. A lot of people are not really using TJ Watt unless you're using a Steelers team. Plus, if you want me to be honest... Micah Parsons is just a lot better. Like the first round of honors, they were a hundred times better than the second round because Jamar Chase is still a stud. That's why he's still going for one point some million coins. Micah Parsons is just god amazing. Honestly, I only sold them because this way I can get Dion for you guys. So I already know I want Micah Parsons on my team. I mean, Justin Tucker's not that bad. Even though he's a kicker, though he's still not that bad though. But if you look at who's under him, though, at least the price range. Joe Burrow and John the Taylor still cheap are cheaper than Justin Tucker, so think of it like that. But not, nah. anyways. That right there is most likely going to do it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Gameplay will be out soon. If you guys did, please let me know by dropping a like, hit the sub, turn notifications, so this way you guys do not miss a video. Follow me on Twitter. My link will be in the description below. One more time, this is the live I'm rocking with right now. 99 Joe Name will be back on the team. 
Defense, we have 99 Dion. I can't wait to see him play. Other than that, I'm out, guys. I will catch y'all in the next video.